Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Let's love, baby. Let's get it on. Hey everybody, I'm back again with another video, so grab yourself a cold drink and let's get the hizzle off this shizzle. Cody, buffering, and how to resolve it. Well, there are many different reasons why Cody can buffer content. Some of the factors are the speed of your connection, the load on the source server, and the speed of the device and the build of the Cody that you are running. Cody can run on many different OS's and with many different variations. It can run on Windows, Linux, Android, Raspberry Pi, iOS if jailbroken, and Mac OS X. You have to factor all that in as variables. If you're running a Fire Stick, you might want to avoid a heavily customized build, since your resources will be fewer than, let's say, a NVIDIA Shield. Even the fastest machines and a super fast connection, you can still have buffering. There are some tweaks you can do. I am running the TV Add-ons Fusion Build, which comes with a built-in system tweaker. You can also run a program called Ares. It measures the capabilities of your system and sets it up for the best performance. Let's do some of these tricks now. Okay, so let's go to Programs and then Maintenance Tool. And under your Maintenance Tool, you have System Tweaks and you also have your General Maintenance tabs. You want to go into both of these in order to tweak your system. So let's go into the General Maintenance and there's something called Clear Cache. You want to clear your cache periodically because files will build up and slow down your system and this will help your system run better. There are a bunch of other things you can do. You can remove skins, you can remove add-ons, you can do a bunch of stuff, but this is the one I recommend going into to help your system speed up. The other thing you want to do is you want to go into your system tweaks and you want to enable zero cache settings. This is to allow you to be able to pause the movie. And when you pause this movie, You'll be able to build up more than just, you know, the 30 seconds or whatever or a couple of minutes that it normally will load on there to give you a little bit of a buffer so that it doesn't buffer. Um, so by setting it to zero cache, it allows it to load much more of the video. Okay, now let's try the Ares wizard. So you want to go to System and then File Manager. So click on File Manager and you're going to see this menu that says add a source so you want to click on add a source alright now after you've added the source and you've double clicked on it you'll get this path that you have to enter you have to enter http colon forward slash Aries wizard dot co dot uk um, once you've put that in there you want to click done and that will bring you over to the naming portion of this which if you put a dot in the front of the name it will allow you to have that as top of the list so you can call it whatever you want this is totally uh, up to you but if you put a dot in it it will allow it to list it first and be easier to find especially if you have a lot of sources okay so now let's go to the add-ons and if you see a huge list of add-ons that's okay you just have to scroll to the very top and hit the double dot there and then hit the double dot again and you'll get back to this area which is install from to zip file or from zip file click on your Aries and then there's only one script to run so you hit that and once you've double clicked that you'll look on the bottom right hand side and it will actually say that the Ares wizard has been enabled which will mean that now you can run that add-on so they list it in the program section so you want to get out to your main and go over to programs and you'll see Ares listed there if you double click that if you're in Windows you have to double click a lot um, 
and you'll see that it starts to extract everything and install everything. Once it's done with that, it will actually automatically run it. So give it a second and there you go. There's the Aries wizard. Now you want to go to tweaks and go to advanced settings wizard. Then click on next, then generate your settings. Now this automatically measures all of your system's capabilities, then shows the current setting and the setting that it recommends to run at optimum speed. So you want to accept whatever these settings are by default and then click apply these settings. So I mean you've got your video cache which is kind of like your buffering uh, uh, zero cache. Uh, it just does it a little different way and it sets it to a much higher number and uh, once you've applied it you have to force either close Cody or you have to just back out of Cody all the way and close it normally but this is a quicker way to do it so once you click that uh, close Cody it will ask you if you really want to do this and you click it now your changes have taken effect and now you can just relaunch Cody and you should have the quicker buffering settings so that you can handle the buffering a little bit better it'll use more of your resources which will allow Cody to run much faster all right here we go final thoughts time buffering can it be fixed you have the fastest connection and a super fast device but if your source is slow there is really nothing you can do but managing your devices and trying more than one source can result in great playback with little or no buffering at all. Remember, this service is free. The software is free and the servers are free. I wish a huge company could offer everything you get with Kodi. I would happily pay a reasonable price. But for now, tweaking your Kodi's resources with programs like Ares or any other program that manages resources in combination with making sure you pick the fastest sources is the best you can do. Anyway, that's my video. Thanks for watching. I'm going to get the tech out of here. Thanks for watching again.